Now, there's this particular story here, which I really love to tell. You know, previously, President William Ruto was in the ODM party, and he made Nelo Dinga to become the Prime Minister of the Republic of Kenya. Then Ruto joined the Jubilee party, and he made Uhuru Kenyatta to become the fourth president of the Republic of Kenya. Then somewhere around the year 2022, ahead of the general elections, it was during the campaign period, I remember very well Raila Odinga making certain statements telling William Ruto that if you made me to be the Prime Minister of the Republic of Kenya, then make yourself to be the president. Currently, William Ruto is the president of the Republic of Kenya. Then one year later, Raila Odinga is still rejecting the final outcome of the 2022 general elections. Raila cannot believe that Ruto actually defeated him in the previous elections. But what I wanted to talk about in this particular video is that the Weber Party leader, Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Musioka's candidature of the year 2027 presidential bid is already dead on arrival. And I don't think if Reno Dinga dodging Kalonzo Musioka again in the 2027 general elections will actually be fair. It will be suicidal. In my personal consideration, I think that Raila Odinga should just endorse Kalonzo Musioka even if he will lose. Because when you look at it from this perspective, neither of them will actually win. Even if Raila Odinga will contest again for the sixth time, I don't think if he will actually defeat President William Ruto. But I also want to challenge Azimio. If it is very obvious that Ruto will actually win the 2027 presidential bid, why is William Ruto preparing himself ahead of the 2027 general elections if it is obvious that he will actually win? The main reason to that is that it is not easy. It will not be an easy race. And that is why William Ruto is not taking any chance for granted. It was just like the previous elections. It looked so obvious that Raila Odinga will win the previous elections because of the support that Raila Odinga received from every government official, from every government institutions, including the CS. Majority of the governors who are, who are heading for their retirement, they actually supported Raila Odinga. In fact, Azimi Lomboja slept along the way because it was so obvious. Everybody was saying, ah, Baba atachukua ikitu, until it became to the reality. Raila Odinga lost terribly. So it is just the same thing here. That is why William Ruto is not taking anything for granted. So my advice is, if Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Msioka will unite as early as now, they have what it takes to beat William Ruto. But the most shocking thing is that Azimio are waiting until three months to the 2027 general elections, then they will start a very serious campaign. Then we, when they are defeated, they will start causing demonstrations, chaos across the country. They will start coming up with the issues of dialogue, the bipartisan dialogue that is not encouraged at all. They should prepare themselves as early as now. But let me read for you this particular statement. Raila said that I had William Ruto saying that he knows I won't vie in the year 2027. So he will be ready for Kalonzo Musioka. One of us will vie in 2027. I want you to underline that word. One of us will vie in 2027. He wants to split us. He thinks he is clever. We will show him he knows nothing. I want you also to underline this part. We will offer our full support to Kalonzo Musioka because he is trustworthy. Let me repeat that part again. We will offer our full support to Kalonzo Musioka because he is trustworthy. From that particular statement, do you think that Raila Odinga has endorsed Kalonzo Musioka? Now let me read for you the second statement that he made yesterday. Raila explained that the praises he has heaped on Musioka should not be interpreted as endorsement. 
Rila also clarified that the, the praises were an appreciation for his political backing. In the three subsequent elections, and an appreciation of his past deeds that are in public domain. But the main question here is, why do you think it is so hard for Raila Odinga to just wake up and say Kalonzo Tosha? Why is it so hard for Raila Odinga to just endorse Kalonzo Musioka for the 2027 general elections, presidential bid? Let me give you three reasons. But before that, if you're watching me up to this particular point, I'm requesting you to please take a second or two and subscribe to this channel. You can also hit the like button so that YouTube can automatically recommend this video to reach out to others. There are also my returning subscribers. I really want to appreciate you for your continued support. You can also press the notification bell for you to automatically receive the notifications updates from YouTube itself immediately I post a video on this channel. So let us go straight into the details. In my considered opinion, first of all, I think Raila Odinga wants Kalonzo Musioka or he is basically waiting for Kalonzo Musioka to make a move. You know, leadership is not given. Leadership is grabbed. If I were Kalonzo Musioka, I would have taken this opportunity to lead the opposition. But what are the steps that Kalonzo Musioka has made so far? You know, Kalonzo Musioka himself first is not making any steps. He is just there. He is currently waiting for Raila Odinga to do everything for him. So basically, it will be so hard for Raila Odinga to endorse Kalonzo Musioka, someone who has not made any further steps. And secondly, yes, Raila Odinga can decide to endorse Kalonzo Musioka. But the big question here is, how prepared is Kalonzo Musioka ahead of the 2027 general elections? Is Kalonzo Musioka well prepared for the elections and especially financially because Kenya's elections and especially the presidential bid is very very expensive. If you can still remember very well, in the previous elections I strongly believe that Uhuru Kenyatta funded Raila Odinga's campaigns and he also introduced Raila Odinga to the Mount Kenya tycoons, Mount Kenya business people who also funded reloading as campaigns because elections are very much expensive. Do you think that Kalonzo Musioka has enough finance? Does he have what it takes to campaign? Those are the questions that Reloading is asking himself before endorsing Kalonzo Musioka because he can decide to endorse Kalonzo Musioka then Kalonzo Musioka to disappoint him because he is not prepared enough. And finally, which is very obvious, Kalonzo Musioka cannot deliver. Do you think Kalonzo Musioka, even if he is endorsed, do you think that he will become the next president? Let us begin from Kalonzo Musioka's party, the Wiper Party. Do you think that Wiper Party is a national party or is still a village party? In my considered opinion, Wiper Party is not a national party. If you compare UDA and ODM party, to Kalonzo Musioka's Wiper Party, you will notice the difference. Wiper Party is only a bigger party in the Ukambani region, which it still dominates. But across the country, you will not find Wiper Party, the elected leaders. You will only find one or two of them. So that clearly tells the difference. For you to become the president, you have to have the national party, just like what William Ruto did to his UDA party. So that is it. I don't know what you think. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions, and your views on the comment section below. Otherwise, I don't have much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. Let me see you again in my next analysis. Thank you so much, and bye-bye.